Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a book review of Birdie by Jess Valens. Said that name wrong as always. I'm sorry, I just can't pronounce all those last names. Or sometimes even their first names. Anyway, I was sent this book by Hotkey Books in exchange for a honest review, so thank you very much Hotkey Books. And here is my review. It's been presented to you guys. Let's get into what this book is about first though. This book is about a girl named Frances who is very lonely. She's at school and she has no friends. Friends. For pretty much her whole life, she's just always been by herself, never really had a friend. But then one day, Alberta comes to the school and Frances is asked for her to show Alberta around. And Alberta is posh and she's eccentric and she's very talkative. And soon they click it off and they become best friends. And it's pretty soon that the two girls become inseparable. But then as the weeks go by, Frances starts to become suspicious of Alberta. She starts to find stuff about her past and her future and what her plans are. And Frances starts to realise that maybe everything isn't going the greatest. That maybe everything is just too good to be true. And the tagline is on this book, two friends one obsession. So that's all I'm going to tell you about the plot of this book because I don't want to get into spoilers. So let's get into what I thought of this book. Overall, I really enjoyed this book. However, there were a couple of things that kind of stopped me from fully enjoying it. You see, there is a plot twist in this book and obviously I'm not going to give it away because it's a plot twist and I don't want to spoil you. But as soon as the hints started coming out about this plot twist, I knew it straight away what it was going to be. And halfway for certain, I knew without a doubt what would happen at the end of the book. And I was right. And I've seen other reviews where people have been like, the plot twist for me came out of nowhere. Or it was unexpected. And I'm like, really? Because for me, the plot twist was obvious right from the start, right from the get-go. I saw what was happening. So the plot twist for me didn't start to happening around until I got to maybe I had three quarters of the book left. And for some reason, I found this book to start to get really cringeworthy. Let me explain. You see, as I was reading it and as the clues were happening and as stuff was going on with the main characters, I was like, no, don't do that. Like what they were doing was so obviously bad and I knew what was going to happen that I just found it cringeworthy. I was like, no, please stop. Don't do that. Just, ah, you make me cringe. You're so bad. Just, just stop. Take a seat. Calm down. Have a cup of tea. And it's for that reason that for the first time in forever, for the first time in forever, I actually started to skim a little bit through the chapters. Not too much. No, no. Let's not get too cray. Not too cray up in here. I would like skip a couple of words and maybe even one sentence here and there because it, I just found it so cringe revy that I found myself that I, I couldn't keep reading because I knew what was going to happen. I was like, no, I don't. I don't want this to happen. I can't. For me, it was so obvious that it wasn't necessarily bad. I just, I don't know. I don't know how to explain how I feel. I don't know if the cringeworthiness was good or bad. I think it was a good thing, but I'm not 100% sure. So yeah, there was that. Then there's the characters. Oh, the characters. I liked the characters and I liked how the author portrayed the characters. And I liked how even if necessarily, maybe a character wasn't necessarily good, you could still feel bad for them when stuff was going down in their lives. Like I liked how you could feel sorry for the characters in this book, even though they were clearly messed up. I also liked how the author decided to take a twist on this tale of one friend becoming obsessed with the other. And I'm going to tell you what the twist is, obviously, but I liked how the author did it and I wasn't expecting it when I went into this book. Obviously, as I read on, as I said, I knew what, where it was going. Before I picked this book up, I didn't know that it would go that way and I enjoyed that. This book's meant to be a thriller, however, I didn't necessarily find it thrilling. Like, I wasn't frightened, but it was kind of suspenseful. And as I said, it was cringeworthy because I knew it was happening. I'm like, no, don't do it. So I guess it's like a bad horror film in that kind of aspect where you know that something's going to happen and you just cringe and you're like, don't go in there. And then they go in there and you're like, why did you do that? So it wasn't necessarily frightening for me, however, I did read some Arrow Stein books back in my childhood. So it takes a lot to frighten me, but I enjoyed it. It was a really fun, suspenseful read too. And I enjoyed where it ended up, where it finished it. And I enjoyed how this whole book kind of played out. Overall, I would recommend this book if it sounds interesting to you. I enjoyed it. I thought it was a thoroughly good read. Not something to write home about, but if you're looking for something like this, then I would recommend this one. It was fun. So yeah, that's my review of Birdie by Jess Valance. You should let me know in the comments below if you have read this book or if you plan to. And like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you'd like to see more book related videos from me. And I'll see you next time. Okay, bye!